Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to prove this given problem that not only involves the logarithmic part, but also it has an exponents as well. So let's get started with our proof over here. So we are going to start our proof. We're going to start from the left hand side, whatever this quantity, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm going to just start with this one and I'm going to prove that this left hand side equals to this right hand side. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to just write this left hand side. I'm going to write down a power log of b with the base x and I want to call this whatever this thing I'm going to call it m m equal to this one why did we do that one because this is for our convenience okay that is going to help us a lot the next step is this one i want you to take the log on both side i'm going to take a log of m on this side and i'm going to take a log on this side as well and now you can see over here we got log of a with this whole thing is our exponent or power and we are going to use this power rule this says if you have a log of m and then you have an exponent or power n then n goes in the front as you can see over here same thing i'm going to use this rule over here whatever this exponent is i'm going to move it to the front so this left hand side is still we have a log of m equals to this quantity log of b with the base x times log of a. Now I want you to just focus on this part over here. For this part we're going to be using this change of base rule. This says the log of y with the base x, you can just simply write down in terms of a fraction log of y divided by log of x. So I can write this part over here, the one that I circled it, I can just simply put down log of b divided by log of x. Don't worry about this base. We are not really interested. So, and then we have a times, we have a log of A. So far so good. And once again, we have a log of M on the other side. Now, I want you to just simply over here, we have a, these two things. I want you to just switch their position. I'm gonna commute their positions. I can write as over here, I can write log of A first divided by still we have a log of x at the denominator and then I put down log of b. Just switch their positions. And still we have a log of m on the left hand side. Now I want you to once again focus on this fraction. We're going to revert it back to this using this rule. I can write this one equals to, I can write log of a with the base x. Just I use the same rule once again and times log of b. And now once again we're going to be using this power rule for this part. You see this? This is in front of this log of b. I want you to move this one back over here and put it as an exponent of b. So I can write this one as log of b with the base. This whole thing become log of a with the base x and we got on this side log of m so be careful with this one see right now this was the whole exponent i just brought this one over here this is i just brought it as an exponent over here now as you can see we have 
like uh, this kind of problem over here. We got this log of m and we got log of b power this one over here. And now here you can cancel out these logs by using this fact. And this fact is called equality rule. It says if log of x equal to log of y, then you can cancel log and simply you got x equal to y. Here I canceled out log, so I simply got m equals to, so simply got b log of a with the x. And isn't it that is same as the, this thing is same as the right hand side. So that means we got left hand side equals to right hand side and that is our proof. And here is your assignment. Can you do these problems on your own? You can take your time, pause the video. Luckily I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.